Hi, I'm uh, Kjetil from uh, Nögnö. We have some great company here today. How you doing? Spike from Terra Beer Company, Athens, Georgia, USA. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Nögnö, Norway, uh, on a um, cold winter day, doing a brew together. Yeah, we decided we, we were going to do a, uh, one of my favorite Nogni beers is the uh, porter that they make. So I asked Ketel if we can do a imperial porter and we would brew it with rye because rye is one of my favorite malts to brew with. And um, he, of course, agreed because he's a brewer like me. So we, uh, we got our recipe together and we were just here five minutes ago uh, writing down our hop schedule. And uh, I was writing down my calculations, and he was doing his calculations, and we were pretty close. So we're ready to uh, add some hops to the beer pretty soon. Hmm. It was interesting, though, that we have very different approaches to, yeah. to calculating True. during units and stuff. But we were close. Yeah, we were close. Yeah. We had a hard time getting Amarillo hops um, due to the shortage. So we've found some other stuff. Yeah, we, like, we improvised. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> which, like, which three hops did you use? Well, we have the most uh, odd thing, I think, in, in this setting would be Bobek uh, or Styrian B from uh, Slovenia. But of and course, then, yeah, and the, Columbus, and the Columbus yeah. at Kettleoff and Chinook for bittering. Mm. So we did okay. We, did, we used some sea hops and, and the Bobeks, which I've never used, so I was pretty excited about that. So. And uh, we're pretty excited because uh, is this the first time you've ever put rye in a porn or have you done a... No, it's the first time we use rye in a dark beer, I think. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. So I think we're going to be ready to add hops soon if you guys want to join us. Sounds good. Let's yeah. go. Let's do it. Absolutely. All right. Charlie, wave Charlie. Hello. Hi. Alex. Like Carrie, it. the beer Hi. winch. No lights, no lights. <laughs> Tell us who you are and what your position are, is. Uh, I'm Ingrid and I'm a brewer. And you studied brewing where? In Scotland, Scotland at Harry Potter <laughs> University. Nice. Very impressive. Thank you. Okay, where are we? Uh, this is going to be the 30 minute hop edition of the, uh, of the Bobex. How many minutes? We have two, two minutes, minutes left. Right, two more right, minutes, right, yeah. okay. So as you guys can see, this is a lovely brewery out here. And uh, I guess you can talk about, you just uh, secured a new brewery and you're going to move some stuff in the new brewery. That's pretty exciting. Well, secured a new location, yes. Location, yeah. yeah. We mm -hmm. need to, to move all this stuff to another location, in, uh, starting in a year, a year from now. So but it'll be about a two-year project, right? Maybe even longer. I okay. think we'll move gradually. We're, okay. Right now we're in two locations, so we're used to moving work and beer and we could continue doing that for some more years. And this brewery <laughs> has been at this location for how long? Seven years almost. Seven years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're pretty excited as well. I mean, at Terrapin, we're getting some new fermenters in uh, in, uh, let's see, April. And then we're supposed to get a new 100 barrel Rolex brewing system uh, August. So hopefully, we'll be cranking some uh, bigger batches out in September, October. Bit of noise there from, uh, from the, the boiler, right? One minute. One That's one what's minute. interesting when you do collaborations. It's kind of neat because when I travel and I do collaborations with other brewers, there's little noises, you know, or little idiosyncrasies that other breweries have, and it's kind of neat to meet yeah. them off. So. Spike, like this. Spike, this is kind of your thing. So where else have you done collaborations? Like this bucket here. <laughs> right. Yeah, nice hot bucket. Yeah. Where else have you done collaborations? Uh, last year I did it with BFM in Switzerland. The uh, year, year before we went to uh, Belgium to do collaborations. So. Okay. Um, I love it. I get to add hops. It's really cool. Yeah. I've never done this before. Okay. This part's right. new to me. Right. <laughs> How are we looking there on time? Okay. 
Now! Now? No. Don't, don't do this at home, kids. Do not toss it into bucket. <laughs> has that ever happened before? Almost. Almost, okay. It has. <laughs> wow. Not on my ship. Not on your ship. No. This brewing stuff is hard work. <laughs> so this is a this is a 90 minute boil and that's the uh, 30 minutes. That's 30 30 minutes until the end. Oh. Oh really? Does it say five minutes? Huh? Sure. Yes. Thank you. We're going in. Ingrid did really well there. Nice work. This Ready? Too. Anna? Yeah. You come here for a sec. Oh, we. Hang on. Wait a sec. <laughs> well, I mean, you can. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> hey, it's there's a lot of timing issue. I lost like a point two BUs right there because of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you do it? Oh. It's the button on the right, like the gas pedal. Yeah. <laughs> I just got an other camera in here as well. Great. Guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Good job. It's dark in there. I can't see. So it's so a beautiful true. brewery, and no. it is a pioneering craft brewery in Norway. More than anyone else, these guys at Nugio have brought craft beer to Norway, and it's not been a very easy struggle. But they've done a remarkable job. Darkness. Darkness. Okay. All right. Any final words about the craft beer scene and what your goals are here in the country? Oh, uh, to make the regions understand uh, craft beer. That's 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 what it's all about. We 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 had to still have to educate the regions, to educate the population to to understand what we're doing. Um, we we were the first craft brewery to start, and uh, so far we've been successful in uh, creating an understanding. So yeah, we just need to keep keep on doing what we have done so far. And already your progress has been pretty impressive. So that that's good. Well, he said he'd give me a job to uh, educate all the female drinkers here in Norway, <laughs> so I may stay for a little while. Right. <laughs> all right, thanks very much. Bye. All right, thanks. <laughs>